<clears throat> yeah, okay. Criticism as the death of creativity. It's turning point. Uh, important issues. Conclusion. All right. Can't look there. Try to look there. Eye contact. Test, test. Test. Yep. <sighs> I guess we're doing it. Hello there. I'm Mount Payne 27. I don't put a lot of stock in face reveals, so I'm going to try to make this as unmelodramatic as possible. Uh, the purpose of today's video, um, the purpose of this extremely unusual talking directly to a camera style video is... Um, in the title. Um, I am going to be moving on from YouTube. I'm going to be doing, well, something other than my show, Dean of Doom. Um, there's a couple reasons for that, uh, which I will be yammering at you today. I, I The whole point of this video really is, is for me to introduce myself to you as a, as a human being and to meet you on your level. Um, because one of the foremost reasons why I'm going to step down and, and, and stop doing what I'm doing is um, because I have lost, well, I've never had a lot of faith in YouTube as, a, as an institution of people to be taken seriously, but I don't like the culture of if I upload videos that a lot of people watch, suddenly I'm more worth listening to. I think that's kind of BS. Um, especially because a lot of the people who get all those views, myself included, got there because someone propped them up or, you know, the algorithm selected them. And those, those things tend to boil down to luck because, I mean, I've seen dozens of small channels that whose videos I've enjoyed you know, made by friends and such who will never get any kind of traction um, because they, they have no means of attraction. So I, I just... What I'm going to be doing here is talking directly to you, trying desperately to make eye contact because that's really hard for me. Um, I've got my preview right here and... Uh, it's kind of interfering with my ability to concentrate, but I'm doing my best. So let's just talk a little bit person to person about criticism, because that's really what my show is. It's a, it's a, it's a critical review show. Um, I commentate on and give grades to in a, I mean, I know that's the structure and I know I've made light of it many times, but like it ultimately is qualitatively evaluating people's work, uh, amateurs work, people, people who don't get paid, uh, to make this content, uh, doom levels in this case, custom doom levels. Um, these people are pouring their heart and souls into making levels for a 30 year old video game. I am playing them mostly really enjoying myself, but, um, you know, basically ranking them. Ranking things is fun. I always say, um, there's some validity to that, but at the end of the day, it's I'm, I'm a critic, not really a reviewer. I mean, I am a reviewer, but I I, I prefer to call it the more pejorative critic. Um, there are movie critics, there are uh, literary critics. I did a lot of my uh, during college. I spent a lot of time 
uh, you know, squinting at critics and criticism and thinking, why would you ever want to do that when you could write, when you could create? I mean, the answer, practically speaking, is that not everybody can. Um, and there is something to be gained from close scrutiny of, of things that you love, uh, especially in the written word. Um, but I never saw myself doing that. I... I mean, I am a lifelong creative, but when the show started two and a half years ago, I was in a real rut, creatively and otherwise. Um, the show was like a was like a a life preserver. It was like a, one of those. I can't think of the word now. I told myself I wasn't going to cut this. I don't want to look it up or anything. But those things you throw off ship, ships, uh, the, the life raft, life preserver things, you know what I'm talking about. It was that for me. It would have probably been that for me had I gotten, you know, 50 subscribers or, or 5,000 subscribers um, just to have something to do, to have something to focus on. Um stuff to enjoy made by people who clearly love what they do that really bailed me out of a tough spot and to be honest um i was dealing with a lot um throughout the time i was making the show too uh kind of all the way to the end really um but i could always come back to it as a thing that gave me structure and purpose and it started off as a thing where I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be rewarded. I wanted to be get, given good comments and given likes and things like that. Sorry, I just said dinner. But uh, ultimately, the work proved to be the real reward. Um, the process of writing, the process of playing, the process of putting these, you know, videos together. Now, I love it. I still love editing. I still love writing generally, and I still love Doom, believe me. Um, but I think enough is enough when it comes to... I, I just don't... I feel guilty. That's the simplest way to put it, is I'm, I'm passing judgment on the stuff that people have done without really having done it myself. I mean, sure, I can write a sentence. Sure, I can, I can stitch some clips together, but I'm... I, I don't make levels. For doom i wish i could but uh those who can't do teach and that's why i call myself the dean of doom and that's why i don't want to call myself the dean of anything anymore something yourself. How about that? Where does that even start? I guess what I'm trying to say, it, it, the long story short, is that for me, criticism is the death of creativity, at least where I'm concerned. I think that criticism serves a purpose. Um, I think that there is definitely value in saying some things are good, some things aren't so good, um, because people do, I mean, in this attention economy, people do need to spend their time as well as they can. And it's not a crime to want to uh, direct people more carefully, because time is valuable. Um, but the mistake that I feel like I have increasingly made over the course of the show is projecting my own desire to be creative into the creation of these reviews, which are, let's face it, just me talking about the actual creative work of others. Um, I am, to a certain extent, living vicariously through them. Um, and the sad part is that making Doom Maps isn't even my... 
the outlet that I want to have um, necessarily. Uh, there, are, I mean, I've I've talked about it before. I'm I'm a writer. I've made I've made films before. I've thinking about this right now. You know, this is kind of dizzy feeling. I'm getting in my head when I think about it. Is uh, exactly why I want to move on to something else. Please feel free to turn this off anytime you want. I, I really, I have no desire to monopolize anybody's time. If, if, if all you need to hear is the Dean of Doom is done, that's fine. Um, I obviously won't take it personally because I don't believe that this uh, announcement video is necessarily worth your time. Um, I just, if anything, want to share with you what I think I've learned from it so that you know I haven't just crassly stolen your attention, your time, and your care, and your devotion, only to steal off with it with no explanation. That's that's the only purpose of this right now. Um. So, I have an I have a kind of a broader issue with YouTube being so populated with it's 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 a market saturated with content that is talking about other content, um, not just reviews but reactions. Um, people who are, I mean, podcasts are essentially just people talking about life. Um, there, there's a, there's a, 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 a need that is demonstrable need for people, um, wanting to be in the room with other people who claim to at least know what they're talking about. Um, and I really think that all it takes to be considered an authority on something is, is enough views. It could be ten thousand. It could be ten million. The, the more you have, the harder to the harder it is to dispute that you are someone of authority. Even if someone says, if, even if the comments are just reams and reams of this guy, what everything he says is bullshit. Um, people are people are paying attention, and not. I mean, just just because the vocal minority says it's bullshit doesn't mean most people believe that. Even when even when it comes to doom reviews, what I feel like I've done is instead of try to, I, I've made strenuous efforts to get people to just kind of take my opinion with a grain of salt or create or, or, or actively encourage uh, uh, disputes, not necessarily in the comment or in the comments, but just like in, in their mind when they're watching, disagreeing is part of the fun, I always say. Um, I think that has mostly worked, but I do think that the mission of the show um, is inherently flawed. Because the idea is that you're watching, enough of you are watching, because you care what I think. And if you care what I think, as someone who has never really made a good... Uh, I, I've never made a Doom map that I would call good. I would never give any of map maps that I've made an A. Uh, but uh, here I am taking pot shots at other people's work. Uh I mean, the first year or two that I did it, I had no idea even how much work went into it. That gives you an idea of people could have been justifiably very upset with me, but um, they weren't. And I consider that kind of a, a kindness, a redemptive quality of humanity, if you will. So you might say I'm overthinking it. You know, this this, this show is bringing joy to people, and that's all that matters. Um giving people the exposure at all is is getting more people to be excited about playing doom and that in itself is a good enough reason to continue well i've thought about that um what i hope is that someone else will rise up and take up the mantle maybe not of dean of doom but of another show another review show for doom wads could and, and probably will exist very shortly after i go and that's what i would want I mean, in theory, I would want everybody to be their own 
Dean of Doom, and to be as just inherently pleased by playing the game as I am, I mean... <sighs> Sorry, I'm just... Suddenly struck with a great disgust for, for my own voice. Sometimes that happens. Um, you know, two and a half years of editing your own voice kind of... I guess the turning point of this video is, you know, if not criticism, if not, you know, YouTube pontification, well, you know, what's next for me? Um, I'm only, again, telling you this because I think that it might be constructive for some folks in the audience who are you know, if you if you give if you have a degree of respect for me, then maybe learn. Maybe maybe I could help you. Well, I hate presuming this stuff, but I'm I'm trying to do this as as with with, with as little ego as possible. But my my invocation to you in the latter half of this video will be instead of consuming pe other people's opinions, instead of making what you think of something the most important thing, making something at all should be your goal. Um, for me, that's writing. Writing short fiction, short stories, I mean, song lyrics. I love, I love music. Music is an essential part of my life, and it's been... <sighs> Its absence in the last four years has been a real, like, a hole in my soul. I mean, I would like to make Doom maps. I would like to, uh, you know, make videos about anything but what I think of Doom maps. Um, creativity is is an expression of bravery. It's a it's an expression of it is what it is and nothing more. Um, Sometimes it doesn't make any sense. Sometimes it's not all that fun to consume. Sometimes it's really, really beautiful. And I have... I have consumed oodles of beautiful, beautiful creativity in my time running this show. And for that, I am... You saved my life. Do the dishes, won't do the dishes, because I don't feel like it. I've had some comments, I, I do want to dwell on this a little bit. Um, I've, had, I've gotten some comments saying that my videos are just a nice thing to, to ward off. Um, you know, they make their, made their day a little bit better. Um, it's like a comfort thing to some people. And I mean, your comments were a comfort to me. Uh, I live alone. Uh, I, I talked about it actually in one, one brief time I alluded to, uh, being in a relationship. And then one brief time I alluded to it not working out. But um, it, that's exactly what happened uh, during the show, um, right after the uh, Scythe 2 episode, actually, which um, was kind of a screaming high and a screaming low for the show, or rather a high for the show and a low for my life. Uh, that's when that all blew up. Um, loneliness is a bitch.
I wrote conclusion here, and then I just kind of scribbled at work. Um, It takes a lot of courage to to have any confidence in what you're doing. <laughs> no matter what it is, at work, uh, in a relationship, um, creatively, um, in a competitive situation, like on a sports field, being confident and courageous is, is also the thing that will make you succeed in most things. Just not thinking too much about it and just doing it. The doing is what matters in this world. If you think too much about what you're doing, uh, like I have from time to time, you kind of get sucked into a, a spiral of feeling unworthy and, you know, what, why do I deserve to, you know, I'm not very interesting. You know, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. You know, what, what, what entitles me to this, uh, to, 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 being good. It takes bravery to believe that you are good. It takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there in any way and to take any risk. And that's why, I mean, to bring it back home, that's why I, I don't want to be a critic anymore. Because criticism isn't that brave. You're not really risking anything except people telling you that you might be wrong. And you know, I've done that enough to, to have it not really matter anymore. But what I haven't done is really put myself on the line. And even if I wasn't putting myself on the line, I mean, I can hardly, um, you know, strum guitar chords without getting flustered at, at how bad it sounds or how it's not going anywhere. And I, I guess... What I desire in life is to be able to take what's in here and, and put it out here. I think that can be free from ego, uh, which my criticism was not. Um, and I think that finding other people who are doing this in the same way that you are can be the best thing about life. So I just miss being creative. I want to try to again. I worry that if I don't, I'm going to die. Not physically, 
but you can die many times before your death, as Shakespeare says. I just want to extend my warmest thanks for listening to me ramble, for following me all the way to the end of this journey, for, for all the views, for all the laughs, for all the moments of awe that we shared together. It's a humble little YouTube channel, but it matters a lot to me, and I think it matters a lot to you guys, too. So, thank you. I love you all, and good luck. Love you all, and good luck. For me, that's writing, writing short fiction, short stories, I mean, song lyrics, really interested in listening from the world. And I want to try to, again, to the end of this journey, for, for all the views, for all the laughs, for all the moments of awe that we shared together.
life is more gray than I've gone astray since the day when we parted ways. Neither staring up at the lights by the riverside. Approaching the scary divide I should have known even then But friendship and love are one and the same So I had to hide To keep it alive All I can say is I tried When I die I'll think of you just for a moment or two Whether or not I want to You'll sit and stare A ghost from a time when I thought that I cared for you And you for me Silent we gaze One last time One last time for us to part ways She's neither a lover nor a friend now Thank you, Joel.